All right, welcome back to SMV. We're just doing a little addition to our pro various, ra pro very radius um, initial impressions. We want to show you the menu features. Let me get this in camera for you guys. So here you have it, the tiny display. I wish it was bigger, but it is what it is. So you have a three button system, plus minus or plus minus power. If you want to turn it on or off, Honestly, when you put the battery in, you press the button, it's going to come on, you know. So if you want to turn it off, you actually hold all three buttons at the same time. Let me show you. And it will tell you off selected. And then you just press the button again. It'll show you that it's still off selected. And if you want to turn it back on, just hold all three. And it's on. And when you press the fire button, you see your wattage, your ohms, and you have the battery display there and it'll go off. You can actually adjust how long it lasts on the screen. I have mine set for like five seconds, I think, um, and it goes off. If you want to access the menu, the very simple menu, you press the button four times. One, two, three, four, and it will start scrolling through the options. I'll let you see that once. It's pretty slow. I have it on the slowest setting, and it will do that twice before it actually turns off the screen. So that was one, and now it's going through the second time. And again, this is the very slowest scrolling option that there is available. So this is pretty boring. And it shuts off on its own. All right, so let's go into some of the menu here. One, two, three, four. So set. And you can set the set, your, your uh, different menu options, or excuse me, your uh, memory settings. And you have five slots. You can set the uh, wattage for different tanks, different juices. And I'm just going to go through that once again. It's always going to scroll through twice unless you turn it to exit or you hit that back arrow by pressing fire button and it'll, it'll go back to the, uh, the, the prior menu. So um, just let it go through. And this is uh, really, really slow, guys. I do apologize. It's like watching paint dry. And let's go back. All right, so that's your save menu. And I just went back into the save menu, and I'm gonna prom I'm gonna hit exit this time. I promise. I promise. All right, let's just go back. Fire button lets you select whatever option is below that arrow that you can see on the screen. So display, display the speed at which the scroll happens. Again, I have it at the lowest. That is your brightness option. That will change the menu to, you know, left or right-handed and the time at which your LED stays lit up and again, you're back in your exit. So let's do that one more time. You have your speed and that's the brightness option. I have it on five. Let me go ahead and adjust that to three. So it's going to scroll to two, three and press fire. And now I'm at three level brightness and you can see it adjusted on the menu down there. Let's go back again. All right, so speed, brightness, again, your left and right, I'm not going to change that. That just changes the way which uh, way the screen is facing. Time will adjust how long the uh, LED stays on. You can turn it off completely if you want. I have mine on five right now, so I, I am assuming that's five seconds. Ten seconds is the next option, 20 seconds. And again, of course, you're back and your exit option. Let's just go ahead and exit out of this. Let's go back in. One, two, three, four. You go into set, display, and let's go into the LED function. The LED basically is, you can turn it on or off. Your color, there's like seven different options, or you can even set it to a random, and then it goes to your back button and your exit. Again, simple enough. So let me just show you some of the color options. Let's go into that color. It's like red, uh, green, blue. I think they have a cyan color. So you have all the options, and you can look that up in the manual to see how many colors and what the colors are. But you can pick which uh, you know you can pick a single one, and it'll be the same color every time you press fire, or you can make it go random, which is what I have. That's the random option right there. And let me just exit that again. Let's go back into the menu for you guys. All right, so that's basically the um, the LED display. Nothing big. Uh, let me uh, cycle through here one one more time <clears throat> alright so set display you have your LED you can set your boost 
There's five different options for boost and what that basically does is just controls how long the Proveri um, shoots extra power into the coil and it theoretically will add to your vaping experience, the vapor production. So there's five different options. The higher the number, the, the, the longer the boost is going to be and again theoretically more power to the uh, and more vapor. So let's go back into this. We have again display, your LED, your boost. Your puff count. This is kind of new for me. It basically shows you how much money you you saved. It'll show you how many cigarettes you've avoided. There is a puff count and you know things like that. I honestly haven't played with this that much because I don't care. But if you want to mess with it, that's it's available to you. Again, you know there's a lot of apps and programs on the internet to do that as well. So not a big deal for me. But it's there if you want to mess with it. Let's go back in. Let's see what else we got. Let's go back into set. And again, I'm pressing fire button every time it scrolls. You know, if, if you want to select an option, you hit the fire button. So there's boost, there's the puff counts, and there, of course, is your back button and your exit. So let's go back and let's go to recall. And recall is essentially where you recall the save um, setting that you selected in the, um, in the prior menu. So this is, if you save something at number three, at 40 watts, you can always recall it at number three and it's going to be 40 watts again simple most devices these days have it I'm not going to spend too much time on that um, so let me let that cycle through to the exit menu and we'll go into the next fun function if there is a next function honestly there's not that much to this particular device so come on come on and I'm gonna speed this up as soon as I'm off camera because this is just too damn slow for me so set recall Info, simple enough, it will show you the version. You can upgrade your firmware and this will tell you which version you have. You press the fire button, it'll show you your serial number. Simple enough. And honestly, I think that's it. I think that's it. So there's your set, settings, whatever, recall, and info and exit. Yeah, that's it, guys. And uh, an additional thing, obviously, I didn't talk about it. I, assume that, I would assume that you know this, minus or plus if you hit that it's going to automatically adjust your wattage so you can go all the way up and down in a continuous circle so if you go to 40 it's going to go back to 3 and so on and so forth alright and if you want to lock it you press the plus and the minus button together and it will show you the lock press it again unlocked and if you are going to sleep or you want to turn it down, turn it off to save battery, you hit all three buttons and you will get that. And that's pretty much it, guys. Super simple. Uh, takes a little bit of getting used to because this chip is unlike any other product out there. I think it's the proprietary ProVape chip, but it's easy enough once you've played with it a little bit. Again, a lot of these features I don't mess with other than wattage. You know, you adjust the menu, the brightness, the speed. So, again, simple enough, guys. And um, that's it. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch.